Hi everyone! Welcome back to another video. It has been a little while since my last video yet again and I apologize for that. I have a lot of updates and news I guess about my life and what I'm doing with this channel or what I'm doing with art in general and social media but I thought I would uh, share that with you guys in another video. I have some plans of what I want to do and I want to like just do this a bit more natural. I am a bit nervous because I haven't done this uh, in a while and I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> this is probably my 10th take on this opening so far and I'm probably just gonna go with it. Uh, so this video is gonna be mostly about the snowcat prints and updates about it because I have a few announcements. So just to recap, if you guys don't know, I wrote illustrated this uh, comic book called The Snowcat Prince in 2019 and I did a Kickstarter and it did really well and I printed like 1,700 books and shipped them all over the world. However, it was only, what did I say, like 1,700 books and that was it. That was the whole amount and I never sold it again in English. After that, a Norwegian uh, publisher, because I'm Norwegian, uh, picked it up and published it in Norwegian in the start of 2021 and it has been doing really well. So well in fact that it is actually being uh, published in both Denmark, Sweden, France of all countries. It's probably being published in autumn now or spring and the US. So a publisher in the US have decided to pick up the Snowcat prints and I'm just really excited to let you guys know because finally all of you who have been asking it will be available in English again and I'm so excited about that. And the second announcement uh, that you probably have seen if you follow me on uh, Instagram, on Twitter, even TikTok or I think I posted on YouTube shorts as well. I partnered up with Makeship and I made a plushie. So there is double hype for the Snooka prints currently. We have a Snooka print plushie and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I've been kind of slow with promoting it and it's actually only five days left of the campaign. If you don't know about Makeship, they're at they're, they kind of work like uh, a Kickstarter project, so they have a campaign and you have 21, 21 days to reach 100% and if you don't reach that full amount, they won't produce the plushies, so it's kind of like a pre-order Kickstarter thing. And it's about five days left now because I'm kind of bad at it and we're a little bit over halfway. Uh, so we're at 100 sold and we need to get to 200 to actually produce it. So currently I have the only one and if we don't reach 200 then I have the only one. It's just adorable. When I saw that these pull pads came out like this I squealed. I just, I never squeal. This is, I just love him so much. And he's super squishy and he has really nice embroidered face details, a little snoot, a boop boop, and little ears and little horns. We have everything and I just think he's adorable. So if we reach 200 sold, he will be shipped in August, I think it is. So yeah, I thought that I would share both these news with you guys to know that there will be a way for you guys to read the Snowcat Prince, finally. And if you want, you can get a limited edition Snowcat plush. He's only available for the campaign. You won't be able to buy him later. You have to buy it through the campaign which only lasts for five more days, so just so you know. I thought today in this video, sorry, I'm really nervous, I'm probably rambling, and I hope that you're sitting down with a cup of coffee or something and listening, because this is gonna, this is gonna take a while. I will be drawing live, like draw with me, because I know you guys like that, and I'll draw a few drawings of Sieve, um, the Snowcat Prince, and I will talk about the plushie, and in the side here, or here, or somewhere here, I will put a uh, side view of like a speed paint of the actual sketches for the plushie because I think you guys will like that too. Anyway, that was a long intro. I am so sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of things I had to get out um, to let you guys know. Oh yeah, these are the new pages. Have you guys seen them? I'm not even sure you've seen them. It's a new intro. Oop, oop. All right. Zoom in. It's funny when you drew a character for like hundred and what? 
30 comic pages and then you don't draw him for like two, three years and then you still have to draw him again and you're like, oops. How do I even really do this anymore, right? Um, and I haven't actually drawn in a few like weeks, like a month, because I moved here, like moving is a whole thing and then there was other things I had to do and I only have so much energy each day to do anything and then yeah, it's, it's a thing. It is a thing that you can almost not see that. Um, I could get, that would be fun actually, I'll get my phone and start filming with this one. Give me a sec. Some of there's more here. <laughs> the camera's filming as well. So, so you get more. Honestly, this is the angle that I always draw him in. It's just my comfort angle. I think I went from not liking to draw this angle at all when I was younger, like the three quarter view, to like the only thing that I ever draw. <laughs> Maybe side view, but um, so yeah, I want to talk about how I made a plushie of my main character from my graphic novel because it's actually pretty damn cool. So I did talk about Makeship before. They have worked with Casey Golden, and I've seen them work with a few um, people on Instagram. That I think that's where they picked me up because they messaged me there, and. Yeah, they've just been going around finding people to do plushies and they reached out to me well, in like August last year, I think, or September maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but they reached out to me and was like, hey, we saw your stuff. Do you want to make a plushie? And I was like, yes, <laughs> that'd be awesome. So I actually in 2020 sketched a plush design because I was like, I would love to make a plushie. I'll see if this is how it would look like, um, this is what I would do, and I will probably share that in the side view here while you're watching this. Um, and he was like sitting up, I think, yeah, just sitting up, very cute, like a statuesque snow cat plushie. So I let them know that, I was like, yeah, I would love to make a plushie, I've, I kind of already sketched one out uh, just like a year ago, do you want to see it? And they're like, yeah, and then I actually edited it. I made this whole like info sheet with like this is how I want my plushie to look like. This is what I want. And I, I changed it from no, I had him sitting still actually. I was like, this is what I think would be really cute and people would like. And uh, they're like, yeah, that's cool. Let's just put it in the system and start the process. And I was like, that's awesome. And I think they took two weeks. Or something like that not that long maybe one week even and then they um, messaged me back saying hey we've done this now come and see and the first like schematic is what they call it um it was not that impressive <laughs> I, I bless their heart like they they know how to make a plushie they know how to draw it and do everything um for it to look okay so like they know what they're doing but it was not the style that I wanted. So their main style is, is like a big bubble head and a small body. That's like for their human characters for the most part. And it's, it's cute. It's just his head just ended up way too big. Just way, <laughs> way too big. And I was like, no, uh, that's, that's not it. Can we, can we change that? And they were like, eh, we kind of have to have it like that. So I, I actually drew over there. So I was like, hey, can we do it like this instead? And they were like, no, we can't do that. <laughs> I was like, oh no, what are we going to do? So after I went back a bit, back and forth, and I just realized that in this style, they just really can't do the style that I want. I asked, hey, um, I see that you have these long boy designs, which is... The head is kind of the same size, but instead of a small body, body underneath, it was longer. And I was like, can we do this? And they're like, yeah, we can do that. Uh, I didn't know then uh, that it would be a bit more expensive than their other options, but that makes sense because it's, it's bigger. 
and they did and they came back and it was a bit wonky <laughs> so the whole thing with them making plushies is that you draw draw one thing this is what you want and then they'll do it but they'll do it slightly off and you have just have to keep like okay can we change this can we change this can we change this and they just kept going back and forth luckily they're super understanding and just chill about it and and they honestly said at one point that they'd rather have people come back to them a lot with the, when it comes to like the schematic because they when you actually make the plushie that's what they follow um so that if you have some changes they can just they can't do the changes because they follow the schematic not if you you finish the schematic they can't change anything unless it's on the schematic if that makes sense so we were back and forth for months because i was just I had to have a break, I was going through a lot of treatment and I was being a lot sick, I couldn't really like be on it all the time. So it was it was a bit back and forth before we actually had a finished schematic for them to send to their uh, manufacturer. Which I think happened in around January, I think, mid-January. And that was also around uh, Chinese New Year's, so it was going to take a little bit longer. So I think it took about three weeks before they they sent um, me a picture of the plushie prototype. Um, and it was so cute. I, um, I remember opening it and I was like, okay, this is so cute. It's not there yet, but it's so damn cute. And I loved it, and I was like, okay, what do you want to do? And they were like, oh, we need to do this and this and this. And of course, his like bottom um, horns, these ones down here, uh, they're always forgotten, so they had to add those back in. And uh, they had to, I think, change the color a bit of the eye. And there was some more stuff. Oh yeah, they for the horns, instead of having like just one color felt, they had like it printed on the front, which is cool because it had the line and the lines like this stuff. But it was white on the back and I was like, I don't want that. So they ended up with just like this and this is so much better. And what else was it? I asked them to change the muscle because it was too big and a little bit wonky. I asked them to reshape the body a little bit because it was a bit <laughs> too chunky. And I, oh yeah, and changed it. You're so tiny. Like it didn't, it wasn't big changes. I couldn't do big changes, but it was just, it was just, it was kind of fun because I was like, I knew that I've seen other people make plushies before, and I know that the actual, the actual process is very tricky because um, changing, like drawing is one thing. Make it into 3D is another thing. So a lot of the time the manufacturer will kind of do weird things and you have to like come back to them and make them change things. And <laughs> but it was just, it was just really fun. I just enjoyed the whole process. And then what happened? They went back and they did all the changes and I got the final pictures and they were like, I think we're really happy. Are you happy? It's so cute. I just, I can't contain myself. It's so, so cute. And it was, it, I said, okay, that's it, we're good. This is as adorable as I think you can get. Uh, let's go for it. So they were like, okay, cool, we'll send you the plushie in the mail. So what they do is they make one prototype and they send you that prototype. And they're like, here you go. You have the only one that we made. This is the only one. If you don't reach 200, you still have one version. And it's kind of like a super special thing. So I was really, really happy about that. I just thought I would fill up the page with everything. God, I am drawing this angle for a while. It looks scary, I don't like it. <laughs> no! Why am I not managing to get him to look like worried or something? What happened to you, Dina? You make him look, look smiley, which is. I think also I'm ruining the um, watercolor paper. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, and, uh, after the uh, plushie was mailed to me, I opened it and I was ecstatic. I think I have a video of me opening it. <laughs> Not that I will uh, show my face or anything, but um, I, 
I it was it was fantastic. Just getting it was so much fun. Cause look at this little thing, like it's just so cute. And that made me really really happy. And then I kind of took a bit of time before I decided on when to when to start the campaign. Cause they this ask you when do you want to start, and then you can have the power to choose whenever you want. And I was a bit in the middle of everything. So I was like, not now, not now. And then suddenly I said yes. And then suddenly it was live and I was like, oh sh shoot, <laughs> I wasn't ready. So that's why there's only five, <sighs> five more days of the campaign. And now I'm finally making a video. So I am sorry about that. Um, but yeah, and I might ask them nicely to do a uh, kit one as well. <laughs> That'd be really cute. <laughs> um... Oh god, I just realized that I've run out of things to say. <laughs> I was gonna talk about the plushie making process and we're already through that. Yee. I'm just trying to get this to look sort of like a nice page. This is not colorized pencils, that's for sure. Let's just start, shall we? I think a lot of you guys might be asking what I'm doing at the moment. Because uh, I do want to create more books. That is sort of my my goal is to do even more books, maybe shorter ones, um, but I have a lot of stories still and I find that creating comics is still very much satisfying and the idea excites me. But the workload does not excite me, so I do still have a hiccup when it comes to that. But I'm not doing it right now like it's going up and down sometimes I'm, I need just need to get back into it really and I think that's on the top of my list I still have some I think I need to draw some short comics as well that I really want to do I have a lot of things um there's always stuff that I can do that I would love to do um, I just have to balance it like it's so funny being <laughs> sick and being an artist because you just have to juggle your energy level. I'm sure I'm talking to a lot of people now that has like chronic illnesses. Because um, it's it's so much harder. <laughs> anything like anything else that comes in the way of drawing, like you have to be in such a like special mindset in order to draw or create. Like if you even have, even if you have to move, or you have to go shopping, or you have to like, like fix your home or renovate or I don't know anything, and you just see your energy just is gone. <laughs> it's just it's a mood. So I feel feel for everyone who's there. I'm sorry that we're there, but we can get through it. I'm sure. We just have to be very good with our time management and our weeks, I think, which is even harder. Again. This is a cute page, anyway. Now let's throw on some watercolor and I will throw in. Yeah, maybe some colored pencils. We'll see. This is like a sketch page. I'm trying to make it easy and simple and not too hard. Alright, how do we do this? I really throw myself into this, haven't I? I haven't touched watercolor paint since the last video, actually. And also, I don't have anywhere to mix it. It's actually okay, because it's not like a clean blue. I to go for it, huh? I think I just really like, I like watercolor as a sketching medium. It's just really fun to just throw colors on. I don't think I've ever been very good at keeping it clean, as you guys probably know. Okay, I'm gonna keep it 
so nice. Shoulders. <laughs> really going for it. Just wanted to be a bit more blue. Just haven't done this in a while. Kind of more relaxing than I thought it would be. I also don't think that I'm putting too much pressure on myself either, so I'm keeping it pretty simple. All right, that was blue. Um, then his cheeks are... Oh my God, lime jello, 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 <gasps> jello. Hey. I think the later, um, later times that I've drawn him, I've kept his this pink very very faint but right now it kind of tipped a bit harder <laughs> i'm really speeding through this um let's start on his eyes what else can we do he has very dark ear things and I think I do mixed up this. Yeah. I actually don't think those are supposed to be that dark. <laughs> but hey. Did you know that? If you haven't watched any of my old Snowcat videos, like when I started working on that, um, that the whole comic was actually supposed to be done in pencil and watercolor. No way of like editing, edit, edit, the edit, mm -hmm. editing yeah. very easily. I don't, I didn't say that right, but you know what I mean. It's kind of working. I think it should be okay. <laughs> and I think the last thing I will add some of his. Uh, Spoiler magic. Of course. Have you do you know me? Like of course he has magic. I actually follow this uh, one artist on TikTok that does really cool like glowing watercolor. So I probably will try that at some point. But she layers it. Like a lot of this is like layers. And I just don't know if I have the um um, patience to do that? Oh, can you hear the rain? So it would be here. Anyway, I'm just happy to be making this video. It was I've been wanting to start making videos again, um, but there's it's something about getting back on the horse that is just really, really hard. Like, it was easy to make weekly videos when I was in it, you know, when I was, I've never broken a day, it's easy. And then suddenly you, you stop for one week and then another week, and then suddenly you haven't done it for years, and it's so hard to get back. It's it's in, it's insane, <laughs> and I wish it was easier. But um, I, I'm just gonna have to do it slowly. It needs to it needs to be like a mix what I enjoy making and what I know people like. So it's like a it's a good good mix. But we'll see we'll see what happens with uh, this. And then if people like it, like I, I want to make vlogs even, I want to document things, but I don't want to share too much. So I'm like, what do I do then? But I can share a little bit. So I don't know, maybe, maybe draw with me is that link. So each episode, I guess, each video has like a draw with me, but also 
clips from what I'm doing. I don't know. You guys have to let me know what, what you think. I think I'll leave it there because if I if I do any more, I will probably ruin it. <laughs> there you have to. The key of art is to know when to stop. Actually, <laughs> I take that back. I wanted to. Uh... No wait. I, actually, I will leave it with the watercolor. I have pencils. My least favorite one of these are is this one. I think. I think I did it a bit too quickly. And whenever it's like in this top part of the picture, oh god, I'm really messing this up, am I? It's just, uh, this is hard to get to, you know? I'm probably not gonna do too much with the color pencil, mostly because it's all over the, um, it's just wet. Um, so I can do a bit of lining. I think you guys know that from before how I do that. So, oh, and I have some gold. That's fun. I have this uh, water and fade proof pigment ink. I've got a bunch of these, so they should be really good. I guess they're cute, and they're a bit rough. I can't expect to not draw for like over a month and then like draw perfectly, right? Tiny, tiny tweaks to see if I can fix it. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look that bad. I am not too mad. Ha! Why am I doing that and not using a brush? Like I can actually use a brush with this, like it's not oil or anything. I will ruin it. I will ruin it. Okay, okay, okay. We're, done. we're done, we're done, we're done. By the way, if you want to know what that was, it was a white gesso primer. It's white. I have a big top of it. Ay, that works well, huh? Yay! Okay, we did it. <laughs> Everything's a mess. Oh wait, I was gonna do this one. Gold. Gold. Yay! Okay, <laughs> did it. We're done. Yay! It's still kind of uh, wet, but hey. Page of snow cats. See the snow cat. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys liked the draw with me. Um, it was really fun actually. I really enjoyed it. Even though half of everything is a mess. <laughs> half of everything's a mess. <laughs> I gotta clean up. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and drew something interesting. If you did draw uh, with the video, please do tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I think that's the easiest way to share it. Um, and I just want to have a conversation with you guys, say hi, how are you doing, everything. So please just say hi in the comment section, I really appreciate it. Um, it also helps me kind of maybe get the motivation to continue doing videos, um, see if I can set up a schedule at least maybe twice a month, we'll see. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself right now, but yeah, let's just see what happens. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, to, to stick through the video, it, it, it means a lot. And uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you guys again so much. And a uh, little snow cat here, I'll say bye. Bye. <laughs> Remember that the campaign ends like now, just so you know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.